these two YouTube channels have rapidly gained popularity, amassing over 200,000 subscribers in just five months. They focus on narrating the tales of historical personalities, enhanced by AI-generated visuals that have attracted a massive audience, including me. Producing these videos have been highly profitable. For instance, Stella Sagas earns about $20,000 a month and AI Historian approximately $13,000 each month. We'll employ ChatGPT for script writing here, Leonardo AI for creating images, and Eleven Labs for producing a voiceover. Next, we'll animate these images using Runway, an AI tool for image animation. This approach will make our videos uniquely captivating. And to finish, we'll seamlessly blend everything together using some editing magic in CapCut. The initial step in our process is script generation, and I'll provide you with two methods for this. First, using Dubdap's AI script writer. Simply type in topics like weird facts about Romans, it will generate a script for you. And if you're not satisfied with the result, you can easily try again with just one click. The second option is somewhat unconventional, but likely to attract views. Find a successful video, like one from Stella Sagas, that inspired this tutorial. Copy its URL, then head to Dubdap and access the transcription feature. Paste the video link there to transcribe and obtain the script. Once you have the script, copy it and go to ChatGPT. Paste the script and ask to have it reworded. This method slightly alters the script, ensuring it's not a direct copy, but retains the essential outline and storyline. Next, we can utilize ChatGPT to create prompts for generating images with Leonardo AI. Simply place your request below the story you pasted in ChatGPT asking, can you write a list of prompts to generate images for this in Leonardo AI. ChatGPT will then produce a list of image prompts that align with your story's narrative, making the process highly efficient. Once you have your prompts, you're ready to use Leonardo AI. To do this, navigate to the image generation section in Leonardo. Now, select the absolute reality model in Leonardo AI, and then choose the creative option beside it. Paste your prompt in the provided field. To achieve highly realistic images, similar to those in Stella Sagas and AI Historian videos, add hyper-realistic at the end of your prompt. Then on the left side, select the option for four images providing more choices. Open the images for a closer look. If they turn out as well as expected, which is a strong point of these AI image generators, you can proceed to download the two images that you like the most. Click on the image guidance feature in Leonardo AI, upload the two images you just downloaded. Then adjust the strength setting for each image to about 0.24. After setting this up, hit generate again, ensuring you keep the original prompt. This technique prompts Leonardo AI to maintain a consistent style and theme across the images. Continue the process by copying and pasting the subsequent prompt into Leonardo AI and clicking Generate. You'll notice that all the images produced will have a similar style, which is ideal for this type of video. To enhance the quality of these images, simply click on an image and select Alchemy Crisp Upscale located in the bottom right corner. Repeat this process for each image to build your collection. And for each new prompt you get from ChatGPT, remember to append hyper-realistic to maintain the desired image quality and upscale each image after it's generated. Now, to elevate your video, we'll animate the images using Runway ML. First, navigate to Runway and click on the Image to Video option, then click on Upload Upload a file and select the first picture you want to animate. Now below the prompt box, you'll find a motion setting. Adjust it to around two or three for optimal animation. After that, simply click generate. You'll be amazed to see how quickly you can get an animated image here. Continue this process with all your images, animating and downloading each one at a time. And just like that, you'll have B-roll footage ready. Having prepared the script and utilized ChatGPT for image prompts in Leonardo, with all images generated for the script storyline, the next step is creating the voiceover. For this, we're going to be using Eleven Labs. Visit their website and click on Speech Synthesis. Select the V2 model, the most advanced text-to-speech model yet, ensuring the best possible sound quality. Choose Adam as the narrator voice, paste your script into the provided field, and click Generate. Listen to the generated voiceover and see how it sounds. If it meets your expectations, download it. Now with the voiceover ready, you can move on to the next step of your video creation process, selecting the 
copyright music here is crucial for these types of videos. Inspired by memorable soundtracks like those in Pirates of the Caribbean, I searched for a similar pirate adventure style track, mindful of avoiding any copyright issues. Visit the YouTube channel hosting the track. Typically they provide a link for a free download. Click on the link and then simply download the track from the resulting page. Now let's dive into editing with CapCut. Start by importing all your created videos and selected audio. The first step in editing is to add your voiceover as it carries the script. You'll need to synchronize the voiceover with the relevant images generated from ChatGPT prompts. Adjust the aspect ratio of each image to fit a 9 by 16 frame for a full screen experience. Next, you add the B-roll footage, aligning it with the script. You can use the Blade tool, Command B or Control B, to cut out any pauses and ensure the images and script flows smoothly. Now, enhance your video with CapCut's effects and transitions. Begin by applying the clear filter to the entire timeline to enhance image clarity. For transitions, use simple effects like a zoom out for the intro and a basic flick between scenes for a clean look. Add depth to your image with movement effects. For example, the pendulum effect works well. Use different transitions for each scene to maintain viewer interest, like the distortion effect for a 3D look, or mixed transitions for variety. Include animations like pan and zoom for a dynamic effect and for dramatic segments. Particularly those in involving conflict or darker themes, consider using a black smoke effect. Repeat these steps for each segment of your A-roll footage to create a visually cohesive and engaging narrative. The next steps here are to add music, captions, and a few more animations to enhance it even further. Heading over to the Effects tab, I'll incorporate the fire effect into the fighting scenes. This effect contributes to the storytelling and adds a dynamic visual element. The result is impressive. The fire effect really brings the scenes to life. I'll copy this effect and apply it to other similar scenes for consistency, ensuring the fire effect begins just after the smoke effect creates a seamless transition, adding to the visual impact. I'll also adjust the speed of the flames slightly to ensure they complement the scene without being too distracting. This fine tuning makes the effect look perfect. And next, I'll experiment with various effects to enhance the B-roll footage. One effect I tried was called Edge Glow, which really adds luminosity to the shot, but I wasn't quite satisfied with it. So then I tested a pendulum effect inspired by the dynamic image movements seen in Stella's videos. I'll adjust its strength to see how it fits in, and I love the spark effect here. It really adds an extra visual layer, making the image look a lot more like a video. Adding an edge glow to the animation looks great here as well. The key is to match the effects with the narrative and the visual theme of each scene, thereby enhancing the storytelling impact of the video. And in my editing process, I incorporated a striking lightning effect, which really elevated the visuals here. After these adjustments, I proceeded to add small, minute effects for each shot, ensuring each scene really stood out. For instance, I extended the duration of some animations like the smoke effect, which initially seemed too fast. Adding animations like by the fireplace over the battle scenes created a dramatic effect, making the scenes look more dynamic and engaging. And for the black smoke effect, extending it further enhanced the illusion of a battle scene, transforming still images into a vivid portrayal of action. And with all the animations and effects in place, it's finally time to add music. The chosen song is a perfect fit for the video's vibe. I drag it onto the timeline, adjust its start point, and then tweak the volume to minus 12 for balance. After trimming the song at the end, it seamlessly integrates with the video. And the next step is adding captions using CapCut's auto caption feature, which is not only efficient, but it's also free. And while captions are being generated here, I explore the desktop version of the new captions feature, which allows for single word emphasis, a really cool addition. Then I choose the Comic Axe font for the captions, added a shadow, increased the opacity, and set the size to around 20, centering it just like in professional videos. And finally, I added branding to the video using a slightly transparent AI history logo in the top left corner, accompanied by a simple fade in animation. With everything complete, the video was exported and ready for viewing. Famous last sayings of renowned historical figures. The final video here looks fantastic, with the carefully selected song adding an extra layer of excitement. These types of entertaining videos, like those on Money Moves though, aren't fully exploiting their potential for earnings. One way to further monetize is through merchandise. So if you're not selling products, then guiding viewers to your longer videos can also increase revenue. You can create extended versions of your popular short videos and post them on your channel. If viewers enjoy the short formats, they're likely to be interested in the longer ones as well. And including a link in the pinned comments like enjoy this style 
style, watch the full version here, can attract viewers in the same niche and storytelling style. This not only keeps viewers engaged with your channel, but also boosts your views and potential earnings. So if you like this video breakdown and you wanna learn more, definitely go ahead and check out my school community called Elevate. In there, you can mix and mingle with some of the top entrepreneurs in this space and truly learn how to leverage social media traffic, going viral and sending that traffic to affiliate offers so you can make commissions and make money online. So go ahead, the link is in the description and the comment below. Sign up for free access to my school community called Elevate and get a free course as well to learn exactly step-by-step -step how to succeed this year with affiliate marketing. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.